pushing the barriers, they keep doing new things. They don't rest on their laurels. And I'm not ready. I spent half my life at, at, at the Disney company, which has been awesome, but I'm not ready to rest on my laurels. I want to keep doing new things. I would really not like to walk through with you. I mean, well, I'm sure. Well, my dad, you can imagine my dad was the first one. What the heck? What, what are you doing? But I'm already, I'm already working with some of my favorite directors now. I'm, I'm working on uh, film scripts with them, and it's new. I think you need to shake things up every once in a while, you know? Um, most of the time, I think probably 10 years is the limit you should work in a place, but I was there for, you know, for 20 years. So I'm ready to take the next chapter. And there's a real satisfaction in being an educator, of, of course, which is something that Jim, you're a spent, you said most of your time now you see yourself as an educator. Yeah, and I, I totally agree with what Matthew says. I think, um, you know, being an artist, there's, an, there's a responsibility to evolve and to continue to evolve. And really, that's kind of our role, um, is to keep demonstrating an ability to re-identify yourself in, in different and more challenging environments, um, because that's, that's the idea. That's why I play in a jazz quartet and a quartet. You know, to your point, I mean, it's the attraction of immediacy 